Hello, this is George Edmondson with MotionVFX.com. Today we're going to be removing items off of a wall like this. We're going to be using Cine Studio, so we're using M Tracker Surface and a little bit of M Roto AI. Maybe you also want to clean up a window here, clean up the top of the brick a little. Let's, uh, why don't we remove some awning? Cool, that looks good. All right, on to the tutorial. If you haven't already taken a look at the M Tracker Surface tutorials that are available on MotionVFX.com, I definitely encourage you to do that before jumping into this tutorial. It will give you a basic understanding of how to use the plugin and all of the tools that go with it. So with that in mind, in this clip, we are doing three removals. We are going to remove this section here when I clap. So I'm gonna remove this uh, where it says Lusa, and then we move down the timeline and I kind of wipe away a little bit of the window and the top section there. And then the last thing is we remove this frame with this awning. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So the first thing I want to do, I definitely don't want to have to track the entire clip. So I'm just gonna do a blade cut here or right where you can see that I clap. So let's tap B and there's our blade cut. Now I will apply M Tracker Surface to our clip. And then you can see that we have our on screen controls. And with that said, I'm just going to use the planar mode uh, that is the perspective. This is the best for what we're trying to accomplish here. And I'm just going to track over this area really quickly. So I've clicked and selected this area here. Let's go to tracker and I will track forward. All right, so we can definitely check that, make sure that that tracked well, looks good to me. So now what we want to do is we want to export a still frame from this area so that we can remove this in Photoshop and then bring that back in. So with that said, we have our playhead right there where we need to remove it. So let's go up to file, share, and we will save current frame. And then we have Cine Studio removal tutorial. And you can see here that it's set to JPEG. I'm gonna change my settings to a Photoshop file. That way we can just open it really quickly and we can just do one since this is the first image and we will export that out and then open that up in Photoshop. Now with that said, if you wanted to go ahead and do all of these at once, you definitely can. And so I can just go ahead and come over and let's see, you can see this is where I'm going to wipe that away. So there's my wipe. So I'm just gonna tap M to set a marker so that I know that this is where I need to make my blade cut to apply my next clip. So let's go to file and we'll share this one as well. And then the last thing we said, we're gonna kinda do something different with that awning. So let's watch this. There's the wave right there. So we can go ahead and tap M and do one final frame here. All right, so here we are in Photoshop. This is our number one frame. And of course we are wanting to just remove this area. So I'm going to just click and drag with my lasso tool there, make it super, super quick. And we're just gonna go to generative fill and click remove and let it do its thing. That looks great. Now we can simply export this out. We can do quick export as PNG just to show you this. And we can do the same thing here. So we're going to be removing this bit to remove that sign from the glass there. By holding shift, I can add another area and I'm also gonna remove this sign up here in the brick. All right, that looks pretty good. So again, we will just export that out. And then let's do our third and final frame here. All right, and now that we're back in Final Cut, I am going to just drag these images in onto my timeline. And I'm only doing this just so I can kind of get a reference and see where these images are happening. So there's my image one and you can see 
that when I toggle that on and off, you can see how that's going to look. I'll bring image two in and just set it right there over the frame that I'm going to then do my blade cut. So you can see here, looks good. And then the third and final image. And we just show you how that looks. Perfect. So I've already tracked this first big long clip. So I'm just going to go over to my drop zone and I will just use that image there and we will click apply clip. So that's my first image. In my image insert mode, I'm going to change this to full screen and then you can see the, how that is looking. And the great thing about this is it's only going to be affected within the bounds of this area. So you can see I can click here and you can see that it's only happening inside of that. So with that said, I can bring this over just a bit, do a little bit of feathering with our other feathering tools. And then let's just come down the timeline and you can see here that that brick is removed and it looks very good, very natural. Perfect. Now, the next thing that you would think that you would do is tap B and let's do a blade cut. And then we would track forward and then do again on the next marker. Well, the issue with that is because we're setting that as a current frame in the full screen mode, we then get a little bit of an error there just due to the Photoshop file that we had messed with. So we are not going to do that. We are actually going to do a compound clip. So let's tap option G. And now that we have a compound clip, our markers go away. That's okay though, because we set those images in those places. So we still know where those blade cuts need to happen. So now when I tap B and I do a blade cut, it's not a problem because we're not actually destroying that clip. It's still tracked all the way through. So with that said, now we can apply M tracker surface to our next clip and we know that we're starting there at that current frame that we needed to be dealing with. I'm going to select the area that I want to track and I'm actually going to set some additional points right here and track above. Now the reason that we're doing this is because I'm going to walk and pass in front of this frame and I'm basically doing this to get around having to do an additional mask and mask me out. So we're just gonna track that here and then bring these sections down to cover our glass. With that said, we can track forward. All right, now that that's done, we will do the same thing. We will go to our drop zone. We're gonna select this number two, apply clip, and then we change our image insert mode to full screen because that is the frame. And then you can see now that that is tracked in and our brick and everything is looking good. However, I can now drag this down and we're gonna remove our glass. And I'm just going to use the very top of that bar there as sort of a point to go straight on. The reason again I'm doing that is because if I were to cover this up, you would see some inconsistencies with our shot. And then of course I'm also going to walk and I'm gonna kind of pass behind that and that's where Amaroto AI is gonna come in. So we can see how that's doing. So we're just gonna bring those points up just so that we know that they're still going to be above our bar when we do our Amaroto AI. Nice, that looks great. So now that we've done that, I'm going to press option click and I'm gonna drag up on here. And I am actually going to now remove M tracker surface from this clip because we only need me right there so that we can use Emroto AI so that when I pass in front of that glass, I'm going to go in front of it rather than behind it. So you can see here, I'm gonna walk forward, 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 and to about right there, that is the section that I'm in front of our glass. So we're in good shape. So let me go ahead and add Emroto AI to this top clip. I'm going to change my precision from fast to accurate. 
and then I'm just going to drag over top of my hand and my hat and my face and everything else. We only really need the top of my body to be covered since that's the only section that's kind of passing in front of that glass. So it looks pretty good. You can see my nose there still needs a little bit. So I'm going to zoom in, change this from the magic wand to our manual brush, make that nice and small, and then just get any other little bits that the magic wand did not maybe find. A little bit of my watch there, something like that. There we go, that's nice. Changed my blur to 0 0.05 as well as my expand. Just expand it out a little bit. Just making sure that I'm getting everything in there. Really nice. And then we're just gonna use our tracker and we're gonna track forward. All right, now that that's complete, we're gonna change our output from merged to masked video. And then you can see that that bottom layer appears and I'm going in front of that glass. So we're in good shape. Now there might be a few times where it catches the sign thinking that it's part of my hat. So you can fix those in Emroto AI. So let me kind of zoom in just a bit. You can see the tiniest little bit there of my hat. It thought the sign was my hat, so I'm gonna use my eraser tool and I'm just gonna click and then I'm going to just make a very, very subtle, small change there so that we know that that is part of the sign. Use my arrow tool, go forward again and just do the same thing just on those few frames where it did get a little bit confused thinking that that sign was part of my black hat. That was only about three or four frames that we had to kind of manually adjust and now it's looking good. And then as we had mentioned, we have to remove our awning. So on this bottom clip, once again, we want to make another compound clip, option G, so that it saves those changes that we had made with M-Tracker Surface. And then tap B for blade cut because this is the frame that we kind of wave that around. It's the same frame as this top one. We will add M Tracker surface. And once again, do the same thing where we just kind of click around this awning. Now, the reason I wanted to use this awning specifically is because there is a bit of parallax. That's the movement from the foreground to the background because this awning is kind of pushing out a little bit towards us in space. We are going to do the same thing where we track the surface above because that is what we're replacing that awning with is sort of a surface. So we're gonna just track this area above it first and then we will bring that mask down over our awning. So let's go back to tracker and we will track forward. All right, then we will populate our drop zone with that third image, apply clip. We go and set our image insert mode to full screen. And then you can see that looks pretty good, but I'm going to now drag this down over top and you can see that we are removing that awning. And my Photoshop skills could have been a little bit better, but you understand through context that that is what's happening there. I just kind of work my way through the timeline and make sure that I'm making adjustments so that we can get the best results. And there you have it. Thank you so much for checking out this tutorial using some Cine Studio tools. Now, the final thing that we did do on this is we can do a couple things. You can do a compound clip with all of this content. So why don't we just do that? So let's go in. Option G for the entirety of this. And then we can go and kind of move to the center just so we can see it. And we can apply M film look. So with that clip highlighted, we can just kind of drag over these different presets and we can see the different looks so that everything has that nice cohesive look. Al Gore looks pretty good. Aurora looks pretty good. I think we're gonna go with Aurora. So let's click and drag that in. 
Once again, we have some on-screen controls. So if we wanted to maybe make that letterbox not so harsh, we can remove the flare if we want. We can make some adjustments to our color and saturation. So maybe we want it to be a little less saturated there. Maybe we want to warm that temperature up just a bit. And there you go, just a very quick showing of how to use M Film Look as well. And you can see that we remove that. It's nice and tracked in. We remove this next bit, nice and tracked in. And then we remove our awning, nice and tracked in. And we're good to go. All right, again, my name is George Edmondson with MotionVFX.com. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.